Topping the news tonight, the executive chairman of the Water and Sewage Corporation addressing what he called acts of sabotage to the water supply here in the capital. Fern Carey reports tonight that his comments came during today's House of Assembly proceedings. Water and Sewage Executive Chairman Adrian Gibson warning those who allegedly tampered with the water supply which resulted in disruptions to that necessary amenity across New Providence that there will be serious consequences. This after water and sewage workers staged a sit-in Tuesday after employees were suspended. Any employee found to have tampered with the water supply will be summarily dismissed and referred to the police. This type of behavior will not be tolerated. These malicious acts of sabotage, criminality, and a sick effort to terrorize and inflict hardship upon Bahamians and residents. Calling the action illegal, Gibson said emergency teams have been mobilized and are traveling to various sites with the police to restore the water supply. He says that the matter is a national security issue and alleged that other acts of sabotage were taking place. Pressure re regulating valve alarms were going off across New Providence. This indicated that pressure regulating valves were being shut off throughout the island. Additionally, persons threw stones and rocks into the valves. Night before last, our camera footage showed a truck familiar to managers and staff at WSE entering the compound via the back gate. The truck stayed for two to three minutes. The driver of the vehicle then chained the gate and knocked out our camera. The police have been reviewing footage from various other cameras, taking statements of security officers and other personnel. That prompted opposition leader Philip Davis to rise on a point of order, saying the water and sewage chairman is engaging in matters that were controversial. He then called on the prime minister to get involved, which he did. This is one side of a story. If it were that he is, he is, he is going to, to, to appraise us, that there are issues. No, but you don't have to go into details because from what I'm gathering, the matter, the, matter is, the matter is with the police. The member has the complete support of the government. We will not, and we will not condone or accept any misbehavior or sabotage the government um, equipment, materials, and such, and subsequently interfere with the quality of life of Bahamian. Gibson said only 50 of the 400 water and sewage employees participated in that illegal strike. Fern Carey, ZNS Network News.